Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another episode of Technical Vocabulary where we learn meaning and definition of several technical words. And as a part of this tutorial, we are talking about another technical word called as driver which is used in a lot of software development methodology. Driver is basically a dummy module which is provided to you when you conduct integration testing. And these drivers are basically harnesses which are used to replace the real module for the time being when the development is still under progress. Now, what does that exactly stand for? Assume that being a tester, you are trying to organize and conduct integration testing of collection of modules, which could be one, two, three, four, five. Now, to do this particular transaction, you need all the five modules to be there with you. But for some reason, assume that the module number three is still under development or needs some modifications from the development side. But you have the other four modules for you to continue testing. But without this three, you cannot move from two to four directly. You need the third module to be there in order to continue your testing. And the same way, when we talk about coming from four to two back, you need a module again. So that's where a dummy module, which is a test hardness, which is created for the time being to fulfill this gap. So the module number three will be mocked up and you will be provided with a dummy module called as driver. Now this is mainly used, driver is a terminology which is mainly used when we do bottom up up testing. Now bottom up testing basically means that when you go from five, four, three, two, one. That's where like moving backward on a particular transaction or going to previous in a particular flow. Now driver is slightly different than the stub. The stub does not have any sort of script except a button which will take you to the next page. But going forward or backward to a previous page requires you to retrain the data which you have already entered in module number two. So assume that you did something on one, did something on two, you jumped from three to four, and then you did something there. Now in order to come back to two, it has to pull the data what you have already saved at the page number two and show you that. So again, you can take any example here. For example, you're talking about filling up an application form for job, which is in four different segments or six different segments. And you're talking about going to a previous page, which is already clear, clicked, entered and submitted. Now that's where a driver script will be additionally written not just a dummy module to retrieve the information from a previous module. And that's what you refer to it as driver, not stub. Stub is used in a forward module. That is a forward sequence of execution. Next, next, next. And the driver is used in a backward process, which is bottom up approach. Now that's where the key difference between stub and driver happens. So driver will have additional script written in order to retrieve the information mentioned in the previous page whereas the stub doesn't have it. So that was to talk quickly about driver as a part of your integration testing. Should you have any other similar words which you want me to talk about, feel free to drop them below. I'm here to talk about them and help you understand that better. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.